Local artist Amy Grigg has been an artist for many years, but it wasn't until she discovered woodworking that she felt she had discovered her true passion. Watch as she turns a piece of a tree trunk into a functional work of art. When I was a kid, I would just go out into the woods and have these little adventures by myself. What I remember, having a lot of freedom as a child, just being able to jump on my bike and ride wherever I want, was that in the summertime, there was a canopy of leaves and the dappled shadow and light that I would ride under just reminded me of being safe and being home. I'm a craftsperson working in wood. I make boxes, bowls, cutting boards, and other small items. I've always been interested in making things ever since I was a little kid. I went to art school and got a degree in art and worked in various mediums until around 2001 when I discovered woodworking and I've been passionate about working with wood ever since then. The thing that I like so much about wood, it's hard to put into words. There's the connection to the trees. There's the three-dimensionality of working with wood, which encompasses all of my senses. There's the discovery of finding out what's inside a log and uncovering the grain and the color and the beauty of, of wood itself. It's a very warm material and I have been working with it now for over 10 years and I love it more than ever. I feel most comfortable in nature and under a canopy of leaves, but I've got to admit that there are some trees that I look at and I think, I'd really like to see what's underneath that bark. I'd really like to cut that open and, and uh, find out what's underneath there. The process of wood turning is very dynamic. I really love the freedom of, of putting a chunk of wood on the lathe and just unwrapping it. By the time I get it under the lathe, I need to determine what's going to be the top and the bottom of the bowl, how the grain's going to look and how it's going to show up in a finished piece. I feel out the shape as I go along. That's the most important part of it to me for the finished piece is what's the final shape going to be like. The curve has to be just right. If it's a little bit off, there can be a curve with a slight flat spot and, you know, a keen eye will pick it up. So I wait until I, I keep working at it slowly until I feel the curve is just right and then that's the outside of the bowl. And then I can begin working toward carving out the inside of the bowl and removing the wood. I joke sometimes that people knew what I go through to get this bowl finished. That they'd be like, why bother? It's a lot of work. It is hard, and I kind of love that part. Each time I make a bowl, my skills get a little bit better. So when a person buys a bowl of mine, they're buying all the time that I've spent practicing making bowls. And some people will ask, how long does it take you to make that? And I want to say years. And that's really the truth. I ask that people, when they hold bowls, look at these details and ask themselves, how does this feel to me? Does it feel like it was made with care and attention and detail? Because when we bring these things into our homes, we can continue to enjoy them for years to come. For more information about Amy and her work, visit her website at amygrig.com.